Good morning, Sheep fans. Cammy's the name, Sheep's the game, and this is a first for me. We're at H&H &H in Carlisle, Borderway Mart, and we're going to try and buy an Anivist up. This Anivist Ram sale is one of many Ram sales held here at Borderway Marts in Carlisle. The Harrison and Hetherington team are well known for holding multiple sales on the same day, which makes for a great atmosphere and a fun day out at the market. There we go, I did my first selfie of the day there. What is your name, sorry? Elaine Cousin. Elaine, okay, now this is a wee surprise. Who's this a surprise for? David. David, here's a wee surprise for you. <laughs> she says she can't stand me, but you love it, so no, she took no, a photo. You can, you can. <laughs> you come up with a lot of good stuff, actually. Well, hopefully today's uh, another good example of that, if we yes, can, if we can buy one of these so. tops. A big shout out to you, David. Now, the first sale of the day, Prime Lambs, has already finished by the time I arrive. Interestingly, despite its size and location, Carlisle is not a big market for Prime Lambs, with my own local mart at Ayr selling more lambs weekly. I'm sure this is something their young and ambitious squad of auctioneers are looking to remedy. And these sheep you see here are from the second sale of the day, Store Lambs. These are lambs that aren't quite finished yet. They're either too light or too lean and need more grass or feed to get them into prime condition. Trade is strong for the store lambs, as it has been all over the country this year. Now despite Carlisle hosting multiple sales in one day, they have a good system to ensure that the high health status of Innovis sheep is protected with separate loading bays, holding pens and sale rings. The Enivis boys are all penned up and there is a good buzz around the pens. Enivis customers have an increasing number of breeds to choose from, including Highlanders, Aberfield, Aberfield SR, Cheviots, Primera, Abermax, Aber Black, and even the Xlana Rams are here too. For more info in any of these breeds, just check out the Innovis website, I'll link it in the description. Now I'd better explain why I'm here. It's for one of these guys, the Aberfield SR. He is going to be part of Lizzie and I's new project to turn her new piece of ground into a place where we keep a closed flock. We want to produce a solid, self-replacing flock with a high health status and minimum input from us. By that I mean easy lambing, low feed costs and all the other benefits that come with good healthy sheep. Okay, we've had a good look round all the sheep, there's the lads there. <laughs> Hopefully we can get one of these, I actually don't know what one I want, I'm probably just going to watch them come in and, and see if we can get one. Uh, I have been told not to panic, if I don't get one, I'll get one somewhere else, but most important thing here, Gonna get, well, I'm not going to get something to eat because I'm going to miss the start of the sale. I'm going to get a bottle of juice. You'll see on the screen the certificate of the Rams at the map. Okay, thank you, Dowie. We'll get the start of the sale. We'll start with lot number one. All these in elite grade now. This is Amber Sales here. Mark 22 born. He is a plus 2.5 foot growth there. Look at that, Dowie. Sammy here. At uh, 850, 850 bed. 850, 850, 850 bed. 850, 850 bed. 850, 850, 900, 900 bed. 900, 900 bed. And we are off lot number one in the ring and bought by fellow sheep shearer Richard Wilson. He means business today. 
these elite grade Aberfields are flying. Certainly more expensive than I expected. And I'm starting to think the elite Aberfield SR Rams might be out my price range. Okay, so here we go. Aberfields of SRs have started. First one in. Better pay attention here, in case there's something I want. First one away for 900. I'm here today with a budget of £1,000 and the first two sheep I've marked on the book there sell for well over that mark. I had one other sheep I'd picked out and it's the second last one into the ring. Time to be brave, Cammy. Um, I might have a look at this one and see what this one goes like. So there we go, the, the heat of the auction awaited to the second last ram and I bought them, £1,050, that is the most I've ever spent on a ram at an auction, that, like the adrenaline's going, it's, it's insane, but I liked him, he, he, good figures, we'll go back and see him on the pen, I never actually wrote them down, but he had good figures, he was a substitute ram so he's not in the catalogue, but nice bare skin, the figures look good, I don't really know what I'm doing here, I'm just trying to get better sheep. Now we just need to get the females, but to get the females, I'm going to have to sell some store lambs because, yeah, we went by 300 females. That's roughly, well, hopefully it's £120 a head, so 300 is uh, £36,000 we need. So right now we have £0,000, so I'll need to, to try and sell some store lambs. Okay, and here's, here's the figures for that lad, 307. So he was a 91 index, so it's a pretty high index sheep. Um, I just, I thought he scored quite well to be honest with you. I think I might have benefited a bit from the fact his figures weren't in the book and they actually weren't on the, the gate when I got here. I sort of asked for them because I like the look of them. And it, it came up as a 91, so that's, that's quite high up. I think I've chose a good sheep there. Maternal ability is slightly above average, but these should have a good average maternal ability anyway with the clun factor. And they're not too big a you, the looks of it. So, yeah. Hopefully that's, hopefully that's okay, everything else is in the positive. I, th I think we've got a good top there, let's have a look at him. Okay, so not easy for me to get a good look at him in the pen. And I don't plan to take him home just now, I'm going to have to sort that out, find out who's going to help me take him home, but this is the boy here. I'm not sure if I actually spoke about him before the sale, because I was too busy blathering to other people that were here. A little bit of damage to the nose there. Quite bare on the top of the head. Someone told me that's uh, bad for the flies when they're bare like that on top of the head, but to be honest with you, most of them are quite bare on top of the head. He's a fairly nice skin on him, he's not as tight as like this boy here. And that's probably what you're, you're wanting there, nice and woolly, uh, hairy over the top, but he's a nice lad. But yeah, nice enough skin, good figures. Ah, we'll see how we go. It's all the iron club. he's not very clean actually when you see him, eh? Not very clean now when I compare them to that, but we'll be fine. What's, what's, the, what's the best dish on offer? You are the best dish of the day. I'm the best dish of the day. What one would fill my belly? We'll have sweet and sour chicken, I think. We'll have chips with it as well. Thank you. Now I was thinking that I would do some food reviews, but I don't. I can't do that because I love all the markets and the market staff equally. What I will say is, this was half the price I stole in. Half the price, and what a portion! Tremendous. Hi, you, Katie. How how are you getting on, sheep fans? Look at that.
That's the easy bit done. Now to do the painful bit. Oh, got to pay for them. Well, there we go. Job done. We got the RAM or a RAM that we came to get, which is unusual for me. Usually, I, I totally bottle it, but you know that was the probably third choice RAM that we got. But it's still a good one. I think it'll be a fair comparison when we compare it to the the Logie RAM. So it's and it's not about winners and losers. It's just about seeing what's going to suit my system and. Yeah, just a bit of fun for YouTube as well, eh? Let's try something different, see if we can make things better. That's it for this one, cheap fans. I got Clark Hibbard, give him a shout out. He's gonna be running him up the road for me. So we'll see him coming off tonight and that'll finish this video. See you for the next one, the car's locked. Silly me. Come on lad, don't break my arm, come on. There you go. Shh, shh, shh. So there he is, home safe and sound. It's not much to look at, but aye, aye. I think with these Innovis type things, you have to put your vision to the side and believe in the process. So that's what we're going to do. See you for the next one. Come on, you're a big leggy brute. Run on by.